Hello there, uh, so this is going to be our part two of uh, making instant noodles. Uh, let me make sure that this doesn't use this material because it doesn't look good like that. Uh, we're going to, in this part we're going to be making, uh, we're going to be kind of doing, uh, adding these, adding this soup and maybe the next part we'll add, we'll create uh, those stains you see there. Uh, stains, uh, food stains around uh, the container. So let's see how I made this here. Let me just go to uh, this shading. I'll just explain how I, ma how I made the nodes here, uh, which was very easy. So I started with uh, this image here. I'm using the Node Wrangler add-on to kind of preview uh, the, uh, the nodes directly by using Control Shift and then clicking on the node to preview it. So I had this texture here. It's a caustic texture uh, that I got from Google, and then fed that into a car ramp and uh, use that as a bump map uh, for our uh, object, uh, for our material. And uh, this, this was the results I got. Let me just show you without the color and everything. Again, if you want to watch the entire process of making this, I uh, just go to my second channel. Mm, my second channel, I don't want to show anything. I don't want to, see. to my second channel, Blender Money, I'll be leaving a link in the description. So. Uh, this is how it would look uh, without the sub, without the sub, just the bump maps. Uh, I think I have some subsurface scattering turned on. No, I think it's the transmission and uh, uh, there is no subsurface scattering. It's just the transmission. Uh, so uh, if you want the transmission as also well to work, you make sure you have the screen space reflections. Uh, to be turned on uh, this will give you better results uh, in your render uh, if you're using if you're going to be using uh, EV to render this but uh, if you're using cycles it doesn't matter I uh, don't even have the option for that uh, but uh, yes yeah, so this is how the soup looks out uh, just uh, the normal map and uh, the transmission turned on this is how it would look without the transmission I think the transmission would have to be zero yeah this is just uh, the bump map with uh, some color. Let me remove the color. So this is how the bump map affects the surface without any color or transmission. So let me bring back the transmission to point nine, to point nine, so that is uh, kind of transparent. Yeah, and uh, then for the color, uh, I just again use this texture, fed, fed it into a car ramp to kind of uh, create uh, that contrast, and then. Also, I uh, created a fresh node, a layer weight, <coughs> a layer, use the layer weight node, uh, use that as a factor uh, for the mix uh, RGB curve so that whenever you're looking at this at a different angle, you see a different shade. As you can see, let me make sure this looks correctly in OBS. Yeah, so you can see at every angle you get, a, <coughs> you get, you get a different color. As you can see yeah so then I, I mixed that uh, with this uh, so I wanted to have some kind of I don't know how you would call that but uh, yeah to make the soup look correct uh, have different areas with a more uh, lighter color so I used again this texture I uh, gave it a more kind of contrast look and I used that as, as a factor to mix it over uh, to mix this yellow over this uh, a shade here so that you have that and uh, that work well when I fed it into uh, the base color you can see it has a way of breaking up uh, other soup uh, in a more realistic way so it kind of gets that yeah breaks up the texture a bit uh, which is nice and I also use this in the uh, I think I used it in the sub subsurface uh, color is it as a subsurface color maybe I didn't uh, but I think it would work well if I have it there you just have some subsurface to that and uh, then I think that that was it for the soup very basic and uh, yeah this is how the final thing looks let me first turn off this so that OBS is not too laggy and maybe let me also turn on simplify so that yeah 
yeah again with all the effects on this is how it looks I don't think I had the bloom on yeah this is what we have so for these greens uh, it was simple I just used uh, a texture a cloth texture nothing fancy so this was the texture I used it's a cloth texture and I passed that through a hue and saturation uh, uh, node so that I can convert I can change its color to a more greenish color and then fit that into a uh, base color and then use also used uh, a roughness value from that and uh, also pass that to a bump map to use it as a normal map uh, to create uh, these results. Not so fancy, uh, but uh, I think it creates better results. And just turn on, if you want, you can turn on the subdivision surface. And uh, I also distributed this uh, via, uh, the way you see, I also distributed uh, these greens uh, through a particle system, uh, but uh, then after I converted that particle system into uh, into actual objects, uh, that's why you see it's one mesh. But uh, I use the same technique uh, that uh, we used uh, to distribute these noodles here onto a plane uh, like this. So if you want to do that, you can just substitute or just add. Uh, you can just add other uh, greens uh, to that collection. You can see because um, I have this collection selected, uh, this has. Uh, been added automatically to that to the noodles collection which adds it uh, to uh, to this uh, to uh, to the particle systems uh, that are being used here uh, but uh, if it wasn't uh, say if, if it was in a different group you get all different collection you just drag and drop it into the noodles collection and since the noodles collection is what is being used as the particle hair collection uh, then it will also be rendered in here as that. So that's how I added uh, these uh, greens here, distributed these greens here. And uh, so in the same way uh, that I uh, distributed the noodles, sorry, the carrots, uh, these are the carrots here. Yeah, it was in the same way. So I think in the next part we can look at uh, how I made how I made other container stains. Okay, Dana has hung. So I'll see you in the next part. Thank you.